Hello YouTube, Ace and Moogle here. We're actually going to do an Is It Worth It? Uh, decide to have a look at Gettysburg Armored Warfare. What is it? Well, it, it's an indie game that uh, came out in, I believe, 2012. Uh, very, very, very buggy on release. I mean, we're talking the sort of buggy where maps would crash on loading, uh, skyboxes would not show up on other maps, and it would be an absolute mess. Uh, this is a game that had that got a PC gamer rating of 11 out of 100, and Metacritic I think is closer to 30 right now. Well, hey, you know, they do say 11 is better than 10. <laughs> Wait, that's Final Tap. Never mind. Go ahead. Oh dear. Anyways, though, but yeah, so this is a game that uh, very very bad release. Uh, they've got we've got your. Uh, what it is, though, uh, what it, okay, how do I get out of here? I don't know, but... <laughs> okay, seriously, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> you broke the game. Here, I'll spawn this. <laughs> God. There's no back! <laughs> oh my god, why would they not have a back? You have got to be kidding me! <laughs> Welcome to Menu Death! That is the first time I've ever been killed by the fucking menu! <laughs> oh, that is amazing. <laughs> oh. We're going to have to restart the game, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, YouTube, we are back after we have been gallantly vanquished by the evil forces of the menu screen. Twice. Twice, although uh, we're not, we're not, we're actually uh, saving the second one for outtake reel or uh, something like that. Now, on this, you can actually switch uh, if you want 1860s, 2060s, or both, because, well, to be honest, trying to set the game to play both, you run into some very, very nasty uh, issues with, well, very nasty issues with the uh, balance. And I notice that there's no way to really get back from any of these screens for some... Wait, you're kidding me! There's a little X right here! Are you freaking kidding? No, I'm not. Okay, now will it actually work if you hit the army builder? That's the question. I don't know if there was an X or not. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> I take. <laughs> oh god, ladies and gentlemen, your host just failed. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try a multiplayer match. Okay, that sounds about right. No servers found. Yeah, no one wants to play this heaping pile. <laughs> well, it's... Well, let's see what we can drum up here. We'll try... Gettysburg. You want to do 1860s, 26ers, you want to fuck this game up and do both. God. I don't know. That's, that's a good question. Actually, let's keep the ticket count over 9,000. Why not? Just because it's the greatest meme ever made and it will never die. Exactly. Uh. And we're loading. Either that or we've just encountered the dreaded black screen of death. Oh, nope. Oh, okay. North or south? Ooh. Mm. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Good question. Uh, I'll go north for now. Okay, yeah. Don't know if there's people yet. We'll do that here in a minute. Alright, now, uh, as you can see here, we are... Okay, what we need to do is we need to create an army. We can do that by adding these squads. Uh, you, well, 
Oh, you can do sniper squads. What's the difference between an 1860 and a 2060? Awesome scope with possible night vision versus I'm looking through like a piece of glass and hoping that it actually magnifies something. Oh, I see the difference. There's actually more guys in the snipe in this squad, and it's a lot cheaper. Yeah. We'll go for that. And cavalry, because cavalry is completely broken in this game for some reason. Hmm. I don't get it. And why not? Let's put some Sherman tanks in there or something. I'd And then we got Death from Above in the 1860s. Nice. Guys, where are you going? Uh, oh, okay, bye. Actually, there's some Affirmative, AI sir. in this uh, also. Oh, okay. Engaging the enemy! Alright, now this is pretty much just a typical strategy game in this mode. But you do have one pretty cool little feature, I suppose. There's appearing blimps, yes. It's amazing. Loose the faithful lightning! Okay, why are these guys not armed with guns? Well? Seriously, why aren't they armed with guns? That's a very good question. Are there... Are there guns? Is there a weapon, uh, button to change the weapons on these guys? I'm uh, sure there has to be. They should have at least one pistol or something. Um, this isn't looking very promising. Okay then. All you guys are running by going, what in the world's his problem? Oh, you can actually open and close doors. I didn't know that. But you cannot switch your weapons. Brilliant. Nice. Well done. On to the next one, boys. Yes, sir. Changing course. By the way, avoid uh, picking stuff like uh, Gatling guns or something like that in this because they're dreadfully slow to get The Rebels will surrender! Well, I didn't know the anything. enemy has captured the objective! I think the enemy is about to meet the guy with sword. Acceptable. We take the objective on the go. Oh yeah, so 
far this is actually looking like a cross between Command and Conquer and Battlefield if, uh, if it was set in the Civil War with futuristic weaponry. I mean, the overall concept itself, interesting concept, right? It's just not that well handled, though, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I know. Time to go charge the tanks with my mighty saber. Man, this hill is ours. What the heck was that flash here? Cannon. Yeah, um, you have a horse and a sword versus a cannon. You never know, I might have gotten lucky. Um, I was, I mean, it's lucky that you actually lasted as long as you did. But good God. Oh, there you go. Also, here's another thing. Why can't I just, uh, click on that button to... God preserve and defend us! Oh, and here's another thing, the controls, especially for the infantry. You see how jerky that is? Yep. Here, how about you try using the mouse? Uh, holy god! Um, oh man. Seriously, it's... And, I mean, this is way too super responsive. Yeah, I, I get... <laughs> I could have the sensitivity up too much, so let's just try to fix that. That better be a sensitivity. Ah, uh, my sensitivity. Yeah, there you go. Um, there's the one idiot sitting around doing nothing. There he is. I fight for Uncle Sam! Is that a little better? Get a bayonet in your head, man. First, the cavalry has doing absolutely nothing while my guys just shoot at them. Yeah, the are still over 9,000. That's a good thing. Yep. Okay, now try the controls. That's a little better. Oh my god, that's an improvement. There you go. I do not see anybody. There on the left. I mean, it is a good concept. The trouble is, it's just not poorly. It's not very well executed. At I, was like, I think it is poorly executed, but not you know. Not really executed. Bringing out the big guns. Bring it out the big guns. problem with this game though because there were so many good ideas here they just didn't flush Affirmative, out sir. that well. Uh, if the AI was better, if the controls for the infantry were a little bit better. Taking to the skies for the stars and stripes. Oh God, they're and if the horse animation didn't and if the horse jumping animation wasn't so god awful. Seriously I have seen better jumping animation out of action fifty two. That's saying something. Oh, yeah. The sound effects aren't bad, though. I'll give them that. Uh, no, no, no. Unacceptable. Uh, right Retake the objective on the double. I think it's one of theirs. It's turning. We're going to get some Crimson Skies shit going on here. Yes. Here's a good question. Do you ascend and descend? Can you shoot this guy? 
take him down in one shot. Is that a rebel flag flying over my hill? I'm waiting for the punchline of you're just happy to see me after that comment. <laughs> Are you even hitting the guy? No, he's not interested. Isn't this sad? I mean, you go all the way, go out of your way to meet this baddie to shoot down, and he won't even stand still for you. Uh, oh, you're not worth my time. I said I want to go shoot this worthless set that came before the set. Produces trombone. Yeah, it's it's always great to know that you have unlimited balls. Yep. <sighs> yep, I had to go for that one. Sorry. Hey, it's perfectly appropriate considering the massive, long. Zeppelin that we are fired. We have taken the objective. Yeah, that's true. Now, like I said, can you actually make the, uh, can you actually make it go up and down in altitude? I don't think I can. I, I don't, really don't think I can. Uh, that's just sad. Seriously, I mean, if you've got blimps, I imagine the first thing these guys would have wanted you to do would have been to go and go, okay, let's set, see about setting some right here. I just killed a horse. Uh, he is gonna be pissed! No animals were harmed in the making of this game. Oh, shit! That horse is now a prime amount of glue. Yup. The enemy has captured the objective! Good for them, do they want to go? Here's a. They can taste my bull. Shooting at that like one spot for ages, and you didn't hit, hit anything. I killed a horse. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's still. It's, it says that there's something there, but that's just the control. Oh, there's my one, bad. One. That's why. I am an asshole. You shooting at our own troops? I was. Apparently, friendly fire is on. Speeds of 69 miles an hour while we're talking about balls. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. I'm here to try the wheel. Yep. You know, all things considered, I'd say there's quite a few innuendos we can say with this game. Yep. Men, this hill is ours. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, there's that tank. Man, we're losing a lot of units. Shooting down. Uh, uh, anyways, 
But yeah, as I was saying, as we were saying, guys, this game just doesn't cut it right now. I, it, it, this video is probably one coming for you. This video is in fact works. probably going to be a little more than a uh, developer went to went to focus on the game because there are some plenty of good things here. I mean, the sound effects are nice. Oh, the humanity! The concept itself in general is interesting, although I'm not completely sure the Civil War uh, with ultra-futuristic stuff is the most appropriate, but it can work, I guess. But uh, we do need to balance the game better. Seriously, I'm waiting for them to decide to recreate the Revolutionary War with, like, laser blasters and nuclear bombs. That, that'd be kind of interesting. Yep. Anyways, uh, but uh, there's that, then there's the AI, then there's the uh, four animations for the cavalry. To fix those things, this game... Uh, we have something. taken uh, the objective. How about the cavalry a freaking gun? Yeah, that too. Uh, change up what weapons the guys get. That's a big uh, thing. But uh, I think that covers about it. Anything else you want to add? Watch you totally miss this guy. That's uh, kind of wow. Then again, uh, I was trying to use the controls earlier and couldn't shoot a guy on a horse. So yep. Oh, the controls too. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, they're, they're they're pretty much on the territory of ass. Yeah. So I think that covers it. Uh, well, uh, tune in uh, when we try another game. This time the union won't lose. Alright, YouTube, we're back after being gallantly vanquished by the menu screen. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> yep, yeah, well, I'm curious. They had to have had a button around here that maybe it's in here that you actually can, uh. I have no idea. Wait, you're kidding me. All I had to do is press B. Wait, B is back? I'm scared to try it. Oh, God. Should I try it? Well, I mean, the worst you'd have to do is reset the whole blasted thing one more time. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Oh, man. That, that is EA fail right there. Oh, yes. Man, that, I mean, they, they, they've just made EA proud right there. That, that's, that's just beautiful. <laughs> I don't think it's working, man.